Um, all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakodash. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace, safety, much love, and blessing to the Akim across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity and putting their lives on the line to do so. I want to say shalom to you, brothers. Um, back in the spirit with another lesson. Lord willing, they be edifying to an elect member too. Um, and I have an article here on the screen from San Francisco Chronicles. And what really caught my attention about this particular article was uh, the headline. And it reads, it's like God has no sympathy. Wine country residents shaken by relentless onslaught of wildfires. Hey, and, you know, it was a particular precept that came to my mind. As soon as I read that, um, that I'm going to get into a little bit later, but just expounding a little bit on the headline, it said, it's like God has no sympathy. Now, these people <laughs> can run amok and fall away from your how about him, you shy, but still wants mercy at the end of the day and still wants uh, sympathy, if you will, from the Lord. All right. You think these people think that they can just do whatever the hell they want. You know, not answer to any higher power. And then when hell's uh, all hell's breaking loose. Oh, then they want sympathy. Like, what have you been showing the Lord? Or what have you been doing for the Lord in order to deserve that mercy, man? You know, that's what these people don't ask themselves, you know. And especially if you're you're a heathen, the Lord really the, the Lord ain't dealing with you anyway. But I'm speaking to. Us Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. So when God or the Most High, you know, however you want to string it, Yahweh is his name. When he and his son starts to get down on this place, don't make it seem like you're being judged unrighteously. All right. Like you haven't been uh, out here, you know, sinning against the Lord and um, doing all manner of wickedness. You know, want to, uh, what's that? Want to cry wolf when the Lord starts uh, um, bringing these different plagues upon the face of the earth. And also when he comes back, you know, uh, to render his anger with theories of fire, man. They think these wildfires are some, say, uh, wine countries residents shaken by relentless onslaught of wildfires. All right. And what the Lord has planned for this place is going to be real relentless, man. All right which I'm going to uh, get that precept I quoted. Um, but dealing with the topic at hand, it says, it's like God has no sympathy. Wine country residents shaken by relentless onslaught of wildfires. All right. And yeah, the Lord is fucking up uh, parts of Cali, man. Rightfully so. California is a, has a very wicked vibration, man. You know, it's, it's full of folly and mirth. And the Lord is... Uh, is setting their ass straight over there on the west coast man um it says residents of north bay's wine country have become tragically familiar with fast moving wildfires that erupt in the dead of night aimed intense autumn winds forcing them to flee from the from their lives the reaction have varied some people have moved away some have stayed and pushed fire safety reforms most are simply trying to cope with a new seasonal fear and frustration. All right. Now, the, it's like the Lord don't have any sympathy. Let's re, let's read Romans 9, uh, starting at verse 14. It says, what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbids. So, <laughs> hey, it ain't no unrighteousness with the Lord, man. Everything that Cali has, uh, has is having happened to him. Is rightfully deserved, man. All right. Verse 15. For he saith unto Moses, This is this is a response. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So the evidently the Lord isn't seeing any room for sympathy sympathy needing to be given, man. All right. Just speaking about, you know, the wildfires in Cali. All right. The Lord is not going to have sympathy or compassion on those who he don't have compassion for. Our ways are not his ways. Um, our thoughts are not his thoughts. 
you know, roughly paraphrasing. So to question the most high, whether it's like he doesn't have any sympathy, what have you been doing to deserve that? Okay. Continuing on uh, in the article, it says, uh, that, was, oh, that was pretty much it, man. All right. Let's see some of these comments. There is no God. We're all going to have to reevaluate where and how we live in order to mitigate and survive climate change. But at least you can start sleeping in on Sunday. Wow. There is no God. No, that's blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. All right. Whoever this cat is that made this comment 18 hours ago. All right. The scriptures tell you. Um that every uh, manner of sin is forgive, or is forgiven except for blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> These people are totally bugged out, man. All right. The article is questioning whether God has sympathy. And then here you got a, a, a guy or woman, whichever the case may be, is saying there is no God. We're all going to have to reevaluate where and how we live in order to mitigate and survive. <laughs> and that's totally off. Hey, the Lord orders and directs our steps, man. All right. Uh, let's see another. Uh, it says those who help themselves don't need God because he's not there to help you or hurt you either way. There is no God. There's only people who believe in a God. There is human caused global warming that is getting worse exponentially or yeah, exponentially. So finally, an understatement about God, if God exists, yes, he's pretty sick and unsympathetic. Again, read not Romans nine and 15 for he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy and I will have compassion on whom I have compassion. See, these wicked people, man, think that they can just do whatever the hell they want. And then when destruction comes, the Lord is supposed to intervene or step in, you know. And I did a lesson uh, about because it was some guy made a comment, you know, speaking uh, just as these people are about there is no intervening God. But there's numerous amounts of accounts uh, in, the, in the scriptures that the Lord stepped in for his people. All right. And man, and you and at the end of the day, you have to be written in the book of life in order to um to be saved. You know, at the end of the day, all these people that don't uh believe in God, hey, you're gonna have to believe in some men that day. And we by faith believe that we're a part of the elect, man, and we're gonna be saved out of that destruction that is coming upon this place. Uh, this is maybe God is angry at what Democrats have done and are doing this to the state. <laughs> and the Lord is way more upset with um, he's way he has more anger towards way more people than the Democrats, man. All right. He, he's way more. He, <laughs> the Democrats, the Lord is not. uh singling out who he's angry with if you're against uh righteousness and you're of wicked seed or you um embrace wickedness the lord is against you man all right the lord hates every false way and being contrary to the scriptures is a false way at the end of the day so it ain't got shit to do with democrats republicans peons none of that shit man if you not if you haven't repented and you know uh, uh, came back and and you know uh, ultimately, man, that's it. It's it's all about repentance at the end of the day, and you have to be of the nation of Israel, all right? Because contrary to popular belief, the Lord is not coming back to save anybody. I mean, everybody, Salakia. Uh, what else? I'm going with that. Um, Isaiah. This is um, talking about the Lord is angry with the Democrats. Let's see. Uh, Isaiah 66 and verse 15. It says, for behold, the Lord will come with fire 
All right, if you think those wildfires or something, hey, wait till the Lord bring his fire. And with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebukes with flames of fire. Now, who is he going to do that? Come and do that to only democratic states. Let's read on. Uh, verse 16 for by fire and by a sword will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slaying of the Lord shall be many so the, the anger that the Lord has and the slaying that he's going to bring is going to be for many man and not just the democratic party these people are bugged the hell out man when, when wickedness has totally uh, polluted the earth you think the Lord is only going to come kill democrats or you know those democratic states know the Lord is coming to hit a reset on all of this shit, man. All right. So, man, yeah, just a quick lesson on this, um, on this article here. And I didn't even, you know, see the come out to this lesson. You know, that was the spirit I kept scrolling. But, hey, man, look at some of these pictures, what the Lord has done to Cali. And that's just a glimpse, man, because when these missiles hit, all this shit going to be burnt to a powder. All right. Look at these photos. Look at that. This is the future of America, man. The whole the whole shit's gonna burn. So, man, hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I'd like to end it off by giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rachakodash, Shalom.